Hello everybody, my name is Tope and this will be the recreation and improvement of my previous Lockyaro guide. My previous Lockyaro guide was the absolute first video I posted. Not nearly as much effort went into it as I would have liked to and it doesn't really represent my quality I feel as a content creator in general. And so I wanted to make a new guide. I wanted to improve on all the guides I made before, make them much more clear and concise to the point and have the information be a lot less rambly, so I say as I ramble. And I also wanted to add in all the new information I figured out on Lockyaro's as well as my strategies and how they evolved over time. We're gonna stop the rambling right here and get right into it. As I said, this is a revamp and so there will be a lot of repeat information in this guide. Namely, this video is going to assume that you don't know the first thing about Lakiaros and is going to go over the complete basics. Not all of this is going to be a complete repeat, but a lot of it is going to be basics as well as just reasoning behind Lakiaros and so it may not interest you. All these guides should have a table of contents in the description that'll give you timestamps wherever you want to skip around to in case you need help with a certain section or are interested in what I have to say in certain things. So, what is a Lakiaro? Well, they look like these flowers. It's an uncommon-ish flower you can find in Camasilvia as well as Driga. This isn't your average everyday gathering, and whenever you gather a Lakiaro, instead of just getting the item, a minigame will pop up. This minigame is similar to Minesweeper. The object of the game is to reveal all the dirt without crushing any of the root pieces, and the pebbles are just there to damage your hoe and be generally annoying and obstructive to your progress. The controls on this are very simple. Whenever we right click somewhere, we will dig shallowly. Now being as I didn't actually hit a root piece here, it didn't reveal anything, and that means that I can now safely dig deeply here, which is the left click. As you go through the puzzle, once again the object of the game is to clear out all the dirt. Now if I go and left click a root piece right around here, it's going to damage the flower. You can see here this little broken up piece of root, it's all unhappy and it's like blinking red showing me that I made a mistake. And you can see here that the flower dropped in durability. Also, the reward I'm going to get has dropped, although they're the same here, but, you know, you can see it drop from this picture to this picture. Something else you may have noticed is that whenever I do a left click, more than just the tile that I clicked got revealed. These are the absolute basics of a Lakiaro, and there's a heck of a lot more to them. I simply wanted to go over the absolute basics so you guys could see what it looks like to solve a Lakiaro, in case this doesn't interest you at all already. When you've finished with a puzzle, you'll get this screen and you'll get the reward shown here, and then you'll probably exit the Lakiaro minigame screen. Note that you cannot get PK'd, flagged up on, or anything, or damaged by monsters whilst you're digging a Lakiaro, so don't worry about being at war or something and getting killed by someone trying to grief you, it's simply impossible, so don't worry about it. So why do you want to dig Lakiaros? Well, Lakiaros are a great source of money. If you get perfects, the rewards vary from 3 to 110 million silver. And I mean silver, raw silver, it's a trash item you get that'll sell to a vendor for that amount. Additionally, each reward bag you get will give you 5 wild grass, it can give random traces, and it can give hearts and sharps. So what is the cost of a Lakiaro? Well, to start off with, you need a hoe. You're going to need not a regular hoe, but a special hoe to do this. Your choices are the Doster hoe, the Doster steel hoe, or the Manos hoe. I'll get more into the specifics later on, but I'd highly recommend getting the Manos hoe either Tri or Tet to do this. At the time of this recording, a Tri Manos hoe is 725 million silver, whereas a Tet Manos hoe is 2.1 billion silver, and both are available in the marketplace. Also note that to harvest a Lakiaro costs between 20 to 50 energy. If you're interested in making your own Manos hoe, as you can see here, you need one Shining Steel hoe, 15 Metal Solvent, 5 Manos, which is a vendor item costing 5 million silver each, and 50 Magical Shards, which is an item you obtain by heating a yellow-black magic crystal. Through processing, you can hit manufacture and put these ingredients in to create your own Manos hoe. From there, they're enhanced like any other boss item, whereas you use weapon stones to enhance them to plus 15 and concentrated weapon stones to enhance them to pry and beyond. Note, however, that doing pry and above enhancement will still only give one fail stack as if you were enhancing accessories or something, although the item won't disappear if it fails. Therefore, if you do decide to enhance a hoe this way, I do recommend using crown stones very often, as you won't actually be gaining many fail stacks from doing this. These sacks I have in my inventory are the kind of sacks you get from loot. This is a 30 million one, this is 11 mil, 3, and 1.5. And down here I have the trash, this is an 100 mil one that I already took out of the sack, this is a vendor item you'll receive. And now for the part of the guide that I feel my other guide really did lack, take 127 by the way, holy shit I can't talk today. You really need to have interest in this activity, or you're probably not going to like it and it's probably going to be a waste of money to buy this hoe in the first place. 
Quick warning, I'm going to go off on a slight tangent here. Recently, the Shadow Arena was released a few months back. It did eventually get closed, but whilst it was out and I did make a few quick little loot videos showing how much money I was making with this activity, I got some people messaging me like, oh, how do you do that? It's so boring. I hate Shadow Arena. I hate that you're suggesting to do that, and, and it gives too much income. It should be supplemental at most and whatever, and people are getting all frustrated that it was a thing and that they were forced to do it. Well, you're not forced to do it. It could be the absolute best money maker in the game, and if you don't like it, you shouldn't do it. You play a game to have fun, right? So why would you be spending time on an activity that you don't really enjoy? Now, on one hand, I understand as a means to an end, grinding isn't necessarily the most fun thing to do, but you do it because you want to get more geared so you can enjoy more of the more fun PvP into the game, and I get that. And, you know, if you just don't mind Shadow Arena, then that's fine too. Me, personally, I really enjoy Battle Royales, and so I really enjoyed Shadow Arena. And if I just didn't mind Shadow Arena, I probably still would have done that over grinding because I did feel that the money from that was better. However, a lot of people found it to be very frustrating, not fun at all, and they made themselves do it anyways, and that's when you have a problem. As a result, many of them got annoyed with the game, they'd rant on Reddit, they'd rant wherever on the forums, they'd get burned out and they'd wind up taking a break from Black Desert Online, or they'd even say that they're quitting the game completely. Lucky Yards aren't as big of a deal here, but I feel the same principle applies. This isn't a battle royale, but it is a puzzle game. It has strategies towards it, and each time it's different, it's a puzzle. You have to solve it. If you don't enjoy solving a puzzle, you probably won't enjoy Lakiaros. Now, you could still learn the basics, and anytime you go buy a flower on your way through or something, you could simply go and butcher it and get a smaller prize. That's completely okay. Now, I don't know you personally, and I can't make this decision for you, but I can give you these guidelines. If you enjoy puzzle games, I'd highly advise that you invest into a Mano's Hoe and you give these a chance. It's a pretty well-designed puzzle, and I think that you'll enjoy them enough, and then you get some decent income along the way. It's a great way to supplement your income and just take a break from the grind. If you tend to veer away from puzzle games in general, then you may not want to give these a chance at all. Either way, all my guides will be here, but just a word of advice that I feel I should have put in the first video. I had a few people DMing me asking how I bother with them, that they're super frustrating, that they hate them, that the hoe was a giant waste of money. Honestly, soon after I got my hoe, I was feeling a little bit of the same way until I learned more and more about them, and now I'm very, very happy that I stuck with it, and it's one of the most entertaining pastimes I have on this game. It's a great way to both supplement my income and take a break from the normal grind on Black Desert Online. Alright, that about sums up my overview of Black Yaros. The second part of this will be in-depth Locky Arrow mechanics or words to the effect of that, and that should be coming out with this video or within the same day, as I don't plan on uploading this video until that one's done as well. I want to give a sincere apology to everyone that's been asking me how when this is going to come out, because I did honestly plan to release this and have this done months and months ago. Unfortunately, real life did really hit me in the ass, and I'm not going to bore you guys with all those details. I'll probably take some Locky Arrow footage and make a blog type video where I do a brief explanation of what all happened with that and why I was gone for so long in the near future or something, but I don't want to be doing that until I actually get this guide out for you guys. As newer stuff comes out, I've also been trying to make guides for that so that people can get into that new content as quickly as possible as well, and that also pushes us back. I would have easily had time for both if real life didn't just curb stomp me, but it is what it is. Enough about my personal shit though, if you liked this video, do please leave it a like, show that little bit of support, leave a comment below if you have any sort of feedback for me, any sort of questions, comments, concerns, anything like that. As I said, the second part of this should be released like within the same day as this upload, as I don't plan to upload this until the second one is out, or if it isn't, then I'll pin a comment with some reasoning or description below. If you like my content, do please hit the subscribe button below. It helps me out so much so you can keep up to date with anything else I'm releasing. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.